Have you ever heard of trolley levels in Super Mario Maker? If not, then you're in luck. Sure, there are some badly designed levels and some levels that just spam enemies at the player, but trolley levels are the worst type of level in Super Mario Maker. For clarification, a troll in Super Mario Maker is something unexpected or misleading that harms or kills the player, and troll levels are completely based around this concept. So today, we'll be counting down the top 10 trolliest levels in Super Mario Maker that I personally have played. Without further ado, here we go. Oh look, two doors. You know what, I bet if I go through one of them, I'll end up dying. Yep, at least now we know not to trust any doors within this level. So other than that, there's not much else to say about this level. It's a standard basic troll level that also takes use of a glitch that can be tricky to pull off if you don't know what the glitch is. On top of that, you've got a whole truckload of springs to deal with in the end. So this level is an overkill, but it's still a plenty trolley level. This entry to the list may surprise some people because it's actually an automatic level, and as far as automatic levels go, it's actually pretty good. However, there is one small, tiny detail that makes this level end up one of the trolliest levels that I've ever played. The time always runs out just before you finish the level. That's right, you always DIE! The problem is, you can't speed up this process either, because this automatic level is all based around a blue skull raft moving on the track. So yeah, that doesn't work. What about alternate entrances? How about jumping to the goal through that gap right there? Nope, he thought of that too. So it turns out that I have no idea how to complete this troll automatic level, and apparently 120 other people don't know how either. So if you want to give a crack at it, go ahead. I'm not going to stop you. But be warned though, rage may occur. Alright, first thing you need to know about this level is that these two doors kill you. Okay, that's out of the way. Also, don't go all the way up or all the way right, for they're both dead ends. What you need to do is grab this hidden P-switch and then go up to this upper path and use the P-switch to reverse these blocks, okay? Then go down here and get this hidden key and go into this pipe. Then, when you go down here, you'll want to insert this key into the farthest left door because the other doors will kill you. Then, start climbing these vines in. Whoops, I forgot to grab this hidden fire flower that I would have no idea even existed if not running to it by sheer chance. Anyway, so when you have that fire flower in you, after you traverse these vines, get in this Koopa Clan car so that you can blow up this obstacle to proceed. And then, fly your way over to this pipe and finish the level. So, yeah. Lel. Mario time. Okay, commenting, please start this level on your own level was bad enough, but this, this takes it a step too far. So this level is both trolley and spammy, which is not a good combo. All three of these doors lead to instant death, and what you think may actually be a developer exit turns out just being another death. Woohoo! On top of this, you've got an onslaught of Bowser fire and wrenches flying on the screen, which you have to avoid to get a power up so that you can actually finish the level. I played this level on 100 Mario Challenge somewhere around a year ago, and I swear I died like 50 times on this level before figuring out what to do. That alone should tell you how truly this level is. So around this point is where the trolls really start to ramp up. This level starts off with Mario being pushed by a bullet bill launcher on a Lakitu cloud, and when that ends, it seems that you have to go on top of these hills. Hey look, your P-switch door. Let's try and go through it. Yeah, okay, I should have expected that. Oh no. Are you kidding me? Okay, so let's try going on top of these note blocks instead. Hey look, I was right, there's a pipe. Haha, I beat you at your own game, dude. Man, that was... Why do I have so much trust in these creators? So I've explored around this maze, and it seems I have to go into the path above me, but I'm not sure how to get up there. Okay, that works. And I've seen no other way to complete this level, so this has to lead to the end, right? Right? Yes! Finally! Now I can actually finish this stupid... There's not much to say about this level, so instead of talking about it, let's instead number how many trolls it has! Death at start by thwomp. Troll block over pit. Double troll block over pit. Troll power up trap. Troll blocks over grinders. Hidden burner. 
more troll blocks over at Pit. I bet that's death down there, isn't it? Yep. Surprising. Troll blocks preventing escape from that troll pipe, forgetting that the troll thwomp was there after dying. And finally, a troll block right at the end. Man, this guy was merciless. The worst level ever? Well, my previous list stayed otherwise, but go ahead, give me your worst level. So, this level is more challenging than Trolly. Don't get me wrong, it still has tons of trolls, but they're pretty predictable. The real challenge is figuring out what to do and then executing it. So, to start off this level, you should probably jump across these invisible blocks to reach this iron block, so that you can wall jump up these walls to reach a pipe which eventually will give you a propeller mushroom. So, take that power up and use this arrow boost to make it over to these spikes where you need to have almost exact precision to fit through. Then, after you're going through this door, you'll need to immediately use this so you can fall down here and use the wall jump to get to these platforms. And, after grabbing a star, you can then make your way up to this door, which then leads to a section where you have to platform over Monty Moles. But wait, why are there so many invisible blocks? This is making it unfair! I thought this was a decently fair yet challenging level up to this point. No, it's screw it, I'm gonna stop pretending like this is a good level, because it's not. This level is so trolly, it's enough to give you a deep hatred for this game. Thought you could choose this level with the developer exit? BAM! Troll pipe that leads to nowhere. Reflex is not good enough after you go through a door. Boom, invisible blocks that end up killing you. This level has troll after troll after troll after troll, and they just don't stop. These levels are the reason why I hate going into Super Expert 100 Mario Challenge nowadays. Because they just don't give you a fair chance. I'll be honest with you right up front. I don't understand how to beat this level. However, before I say exactly why, let's start from the beginning of the stage and see what makes it so trolly. Well, first, of course, you've got the insta-death for not doing anything, as well as the invisible block that leads to death. So, you need to go through this door and avoid the shells that are fired from the bullet cannon. Don't go into that room, by the way, because that pipe leads to nowhere. So, spin jump down on this thwomp to solid ground, hit the invisible blocks, and grab the Lakita Cloud. And now this is where I have no idea what to do next. I assume that you would go through these spike gates, but that doesn't lead to anywhere. It just leads to a pit with a full spike wall preventing progress. I even tried downloading this course, and it seems like you have to go through one of these pipes to proceed, but I have no idea how to get into them. If someone knows, please comment down below because I'm stumped. Besides all that, this level is still horribly trolly, so let's move on to number 2. Ever since I did my second top 10 worst levels list, I've had people telling me that a level called A Dish Best Served Mold was also pretty bad, but I never got the chance to play it until now. So was it as bad as they said? In short, yes. Yes it was. It isn't bad because of sloppy level design, but it is bad because of all the trolls. You start this level off by killing two piranha plants to activate a cannon to blow up a house that's in your way. But you know what also activates? Unexpected troll Monty Mole spawning from a hidden pipe! If you manage to survive that, you keep on going, only to be stopped by even more unexpected troll Monty Moles. If you manage to get past all these trolls and more, because believe me, there are a lot, you'll be rewarded with a Kaizo section. Now, if you know me, you know that I can't do Kaizo, so even I couldn't get one freaking key coin out of the seven in this section. Good luck beating this monster, you'll need it. So the first trolley thing about this level is its name. Why? Because there are six trolley tests, not five. Psych! That's the wrong number! <laughs> the first thing I should mention is that if your reflexes aren't lightning fast, you'll die from the Bowser that falls on you. So there's that. If you avoid that, you're given the choice of five different trolley tests to take, which each contain one key coin. You can face these in no particular order, so let's go in the order that they are presented to the player. First test. Amazing question blocks that almost all have trampolines in them. The key coin is in the bottom right and the exit is in the top right. Once you get to that exit though, it's a troll because you need a hidden key within this made to proceed, which so happens to be right on the cell. Thanks, hack -a cat Second test, and avoid the shrooms type of challenge, except that at the end, a super mushroom is hidden within a 1-up mushroom, and the key coin is hidden behind this 1-up mushroom on the side. Third test, a Bowser battle where you have to throw 20 shells at him, and after you defeat him, you actually have to take a 21st shell with you to the key door and use it to grab the key coin, because otherwise you'll miss it. The first time I tried this test, I missed the key coin, and I was so salty. Fourth test, a room full of bouncers that are incredibly aggravating to traverse upon, and where you have to find a hidden question block to spawn bomb on so you can actually progress. Fifth test, a room that reminds me way too much of the best auto level ever, laughing face, where you have to wait on this block and avoid troll bouncer fire. Then you have to jump at the right time to grab the key coin and land soon enough so you can go through the door. 
and the sixth and final test. A test that figures out whether you're desperate enough to go out to the last key coin first. Alright, so after around a half an hour of struggles and rage, you finally have all six key coins. And what's your reward? Death. That's right, death! Oh, good job! You played through the entire freaking level, now die! You know, this creator commented on one of my Reddit posts saying, I love making fair and creative troll levels. Well, guess what? This one ain't fair. I endured 30 minutes of this aggravatingly trolly level just to get every single key coin, and what do I get? What was all that ever for? Death! Those key coins are good for anything. You made it seem like they were, but oh no, they were just one big troll. In fact, this whole level is just one gigantic stupid troll, and it sucks! Hey y'all, recently my channel hit over 5,000 subs, and I want you all to know that I'm extremely grateful to the support that you all have been giving this channel over the past few months. It really means a lot to me, and I'm extremely lucky to have a community like you, so thank you so much for supporting this channel. To celebrate this occasion, I'm hosting a special event from now until July 5th, where if you comment down below, you might be one of three people who gets one of their levels showcased on my channel. Three winners will be chosen randomly from the comment section, and once you win, I'll send you an email or message on YouTube, notifying you and asking you what level you want me to showcase on my channel. As stated earlier, this contest ends July 5th, and no, repeat comments do not give you more chance. Well, there you have it, guys. If you liked my video, then make sure to smash that like and subscribe button, and stay tuned for future videos. Thank you very much for watching. Rumble Gaming, over and out.